All right, guys, so we're back again today, and we're going to be going up against the Omega Shenron event, the physical 120 lead event with my 120 team. That is going to consist and include my physical 120 extreme type Korra and uh, the my friend Omega Shenron. So essentially, I tried to do yesterday the 120 event, the 120 lead event for this uh, for this guy, Omega Shenron, and I couldn't beat it with the Rosé leader that I had. So this time, we're going to try and bring a 120 leader, the only one who's not going to get the buff from the physical omega is going to be the um or sorry the physical Korra is the strength omega but the strength omega is going to get the buff from the physical omega so that's awesome so essentially what we're going to do is we're going to have the physical and the physical omega and the physical uh, sin shenron on one rotation on the other side we're going to have the Korra and the frieza and then we're going to have the strength um the strength omega uh, on rotation as well as the boo and the goten and the reason why we have Goten there is because he's key plus three for physical types. So he's giving everyone except for like the actual Omega Shenron a key buff. But um, they won't have to worry about that because Omega is always going to be off rotation, which is meh. Well, whatever. We'll figure it out. Right. So let's go ahead and see if we can take this event on with this 120 team. Uh, well, hopefully I'll be able to. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm essentially just a showcase to show you that you don't need the, the actual lead in order to benefit from them being out. <laughs> so if you're lucky enough to have a lot of friends with them, this will definitely been, uh, help you out a little bit. Um, I'm hoping that I can do really well on this because the last one I definitely messed it up. <laughs> but um, having that team was wasn't really that bad. It wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. The only thing about it is I had the freaking GT always linked all the time, except for like the Rose. Uh, this time I don't have GT all the time, which which is definitely going to make it a little bit harder if uh, if we get locked up. Can't have it get locked up. <laughs> um, let's see, can I get a one? I can get a one. Nice. I don't really ever expect getting a one. Awesome. So now my uh, physical uh, Korra will always be in super attacks off. I have to get my full power freeze. My full power freeze is 100%. Guys, I know you guys have been uh, if you've been following me. You know that. Let's see over here. What, who do we have on lineup? Who's coming next? Okay, cool. So it's the strength. Uh, not bad. Not bad. We're going to link these two up for some additional link skills. Uh, there we go with that, and here we go with this, because I want to make sure that, again, Belkon Meter is definitely going to be beneficial. We might need to use it if we can get to it. Well, it's not like whether we get a choice or not. I only get super attack off, so I'm going to use it. Uh, this is going to be the Goten, and he sucks. He doesn't do a lot of damage, but he makes sure everyone gets key. <laughs> so, and he has the GT, so he'll be getting some good super attacks, uh, some damage on those super attacks with the GT link. 800,000, not bad. 700,000 with after debuff. Wow, a double super attack? Hell yeah. And he had the crit on the first one. Um, yeah, it was definitely the crit on the first one because then he had 400,000. Not bad at all. All right, cool. The physical's not here. He's done. The next one is the agility. That won't be a problem. The physical, the, I'm sorry, the strength one is going to be a problem. The strength one is definitely going to be a problem. Um, we're going to do this just in case we get locked up. Uh, so now we have key plus three and then the attack buffs. So there's that. I'm going to bring you over here. Now, I'm bringing down the strength ones because I want to make sure that the uh, strength Omega gets his orbs when he is up next. In case I have to, go, you know, if, if I utilize him. Unless my core can get a double super attack with, like, I don't think he has crits. You know, he doesn't have crits. If he gets a double, no, he doesn't get a double. Maybe he'll get, like, a triple? <laughs> okay, nothing. All right, so he won't, but my, my friend should, might, might be able to do it. 1.4 million damage ain't that bad at all. Let's see what he gets with the buffs. 700,000? Damn, you suck, man. <laughs> I Oh, wow, awesome. Never mind, you don't suck. This is really why I wanted him. I I tried so hard to get him, guys. I really did. I, I had to have dropped, like, I think 1,200 stones trying to get him. Ugh, oh, well. I can't believe it. But I can pull three Majin Vegetas. <laughs> LR Majin Vegetas, that is. Alright, cool. That's done. This one is going to be where it starts getting a little bit rough because I'm essentially bringing mostly a physical team. Oh, yeah, and he's locked. Awesome. Well, oh, well. So this is what we're going to do, since he is locked. Alright, stop with all this information, we don't want it. Uh, boom, and we're going to be able to get that off. Yeah, they all have the GT link skill set, so that's freaking awesome. We are going to use a Balma here for the defensive boost, because it's definitely going to make life a little bit easier, uh, just in case we get uh, uh, supered, because I don't know how well that Goten is going to be able to hold up. Oh, alright. Well, at least we have the Shadow Dragons guys right next to each other. That ain't bad at all. Let's see. And we have the defensive debuff from... Or the attack debuff from this Omega. And since he is 100%, I might get lucky with a nice double. No, damn, I couldn't get anything from him. What the hell, man? 
Oh well, I did feed this guy, get a lot of uh, buffs on him. I didn't get like full dupe system, but I gave him max crits and double attacks. Though he didn't get it. Can you can you finish him off for me? Come on, Kotet, hook me up, boy. Okay, cool. I was, I was hoping there was not going to be like a sliver of health left. <laughs> it kind of scared me for a second. Thank God I used that bulm, all right? All right, cool. So we are on the last stage. Now, this actually went a lot quicker than the last time. So let's see what we got here. Okay. I think Frieza has more defense. Oh, no, he doesn't. Huh. Yeah, that doesn't matter. All right, cool. So we have four. We only have three here. We have three here. Oh, god damn. And what happens if I do this? Yeah, that's probably a little bit better. Um, how am I going to get this set up? Because Frieza does have better defensive ca I mean, sorry, Korra does have better defensive capabilities, but... Um, okay. Oof. Next round is... Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, we this? That? Yes, yeah, so we should be able to get four this way. Yeah, we can. Awesome. I want to make sure I get super attacks off all, all across the board. And we can. Oh, I got actually really lucky with that one. <laughs> really lucky with that one. All right, cool. So we got Omega. He's supering attack. He's going to run the super attack over here. That sucks. But at least he did it against my Koro, who has the highest defense, which is the best part about it. Now we have my Koro. Hopefully he can get like a double attack off right now. Mm, double super? Double super? Yes, double super. That's what I'm talking about. Yes! <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, I got excited. Can you get a triple? Oh, shit! Ah, yeah! You got a triple super attack. If that don't happen often, guys, that's awesome. Now, if my Freezer can get a crit, 1.3 million, by the way. And he did get the crit. That's my boy. This is why I love the mono physical extreme teams. The villains team, so freaking badass. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right, let's see what we got over here. All right. Yes, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Oh man, how freaking awesome is this, guys? I think, I think this is freaking going to be a good, good setup over here. Now we all know what the hell we're talking about. All right. Oh, actually, that works out really well. Just to play it safe, we're going to go ahead and use a sensu bean just to heal up. We're about halfway done with our health. Do we, we need a balma right now? Nope. Okay, balma's still in effect. So we have balma over here. We don't want. Okay, three. Okay, we should be good to bring this down. No, we're not. I won't be able to get a super attack off with him. No. God damn. Um. That. May, that'll work, actually. That actually works really well for me. So then I can get it off. Perfect. There we go. All right. Awesome. I just want to make sure I get super attacks off. It really sucks that I had to do it that way, but whatever. All right. Cool. So we got my Boo, who's doing the fight shot. I think he does some HP regen also. Not sure. Yeah, he does. All right, cool. Three, three, 13,000, 13,000. Not bad at all. Sin Shenron, here we go. Dark Dragon Sling Bullet. Yeah, baby, that's what I am talking about. Oh, wow, that was so freaking awesome. So this team is a lot better than the Rosé team I tried to run, which definitely makes sense. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, a physical team, a mono-physical team, is going to be our best bet. If you don't remember from yesterday's video, when I was talking about the team building, the only thing I would probably trade out is the Super Saiyan Tr uh, Goten. The only reason he was here is because of that GT link. And I would probably trade him out for... Uh, uh, the Broly, uh, uh, essentially the physical Broly. Let's go over here to the team building guide really quick uh, in here. And we're going to look at physical extreme. You are higher. We take him out and this is going to be our setup. So for support, we would choose a boo if you want to have a boo on support, which would be awesome. Because then you would have obviously the two that we have over here, the Korra and the Frieza. And then we would have the Sin Shenron to be with the other um, Omega Shenron. And then we could have these two boos on rotation for buffs. Um, for bust of our team, and then you have this Omega Shenron for debuffing, and he hits hard. He would debuff the enemy's attack, so we would take less damage, and he would make sure that everyone gets super attacks off, and he links well with Korra, he links well with Frieza, he links well with Sin. Um, he doesn't link well with the Omega, obviously, because they're the same character, but you just have that, at the time that he's there, he would just have the other Omega on the first slot. So that is a really good team, guys, so if you don't have the Omega Shenron, and you have the physical Korra, which I really wanted, I'm really happy I got him, I would recommend this team. Um, I don't like Goku Black. I really don't. I know some of you were kind of shocked by that. I don't like him. The key is cool and everything, but he's, I don't think he's a good unit. I don't think he's worth the orb investments. Um, I personally think that the Broly would probably might maybe a little bit better than him. 
But uh, yeah, guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Let me know what teams you're running with the 150 lead. Uh, Omega Shenron for the Shadow Dragon category if you don't have him. Anyway, guys, thank you. Subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you all later. Peace.